Okay, I'm at Jim and Barbara Antosi's. You can see this little um, paver wall here. Everything in this area, we're removing all the stone and we're putting in black mulch. These two PJMs are not planted properly. They're gonna need to be replanted. They're too high and we need to backfill them properly. Please check all of the plants on the entire property to make sure they're backfilled property, properly. Um, we're gonna be bringing in a good amount of topsoil to make sure all the plants are, are right. The Nandina at the mailbox, again, not planted properly. Please backfill, top dress any black mulch. We're removing the lavender here and the three um, lamb's ears and this little Japanese maple. Um, you can see the two existing sedum in there. We're going to plant one more of this variety and then we're gonna put two purple. Um, right here, we're gonna add one more purple heuchera, just like these. Um, the existing, we're gonna cut back a decent amount of the old foliage. We are gonna be removing and replacing this hibiscus with something else. These three black mondo grasses are gonna be transplanted right here, one, two, three. Um, and then we will fill in the spaces between with geraniums. This lavender is getting removed, planting three geraniums. Prune the Japanese maple to shape it properly. The standard hydrangea is not planted properly. It needs to be replanted. We need to bring a stake kit and stake it properly. Um, this hibiscus is also getting removed and replaced with something else. We're removing this dead plant and putting another female winterberry. Um, and here you can see this grouping of salvia. There's three really close together. We're gonna take this guy and pop him over here. There are two cone flowers behind this hydrangea that are getting choked out. We're gonna remove the two of them one big hole, put them both in here. We're gonna be pruning this hydrangea, removing all the low branches um, back to the wood to create a shape like this with the hydrangea um, so it's not laying on the ground. And that's showing you the two cone flowers to transplant. There is a winter berry right here that is planted way too deep and it's really struggling. So we need to elevate that, put soil underneath Remove this hosta, remove this daylily, remove uh, behind this red twig is a little Nandina, remove that. Just backfill all of those holes with soil and top dress the mulch. The Nandina here in the backyard is growing through the fence, so prune that back. Um, none of the shrubs in here need pruning. We will cut back all of the liriopes and grasses. Um, the roses are fine, they don't need a pruning this year. Um, this grass will get cut back. Please check this lilac. Um, it's struggling. I don't think it's planted properly. Deadhead this hydrangea here. Remove this little blue star juniper. We're removing this lavender, cutting all this back for winter. There's three Russian sage really clumped together. This is behind the retaining wall you can see here. Um, there's also a retibita, which kind of looks like a sunflower. Um, there's another hibiscus. And to the right over here is an annual. We're removing those plants. And then we are transplanting the Russian sage, spacing them out so they have enough space to grow. This is showing that annual, annual salvia, I believe. And that's it. Number one is we need to make sure we're backfilling all of their existing plants. So we're gonna have to really take the time to get in there and check them all. Um, there's plenty of soil in the job. We can brush the mulch back for each plant when we're doing this so that we're not having to use a, a, whole, a whole lot of new mulch. Um, but I will have mulch in the job as well.